This is part two for my client's personal reading and um, I just have to say at the end of part one, I didn't follow through with my inner pulling to show the second card at the bottom of the deck, but I have to tell you that I just couldn't stop myself any further and you need to know that below the magician card it was the magician card and it was the um hold on it was the nine of cups and it was the magician and below the magician was the judgment the judgment card was underneath so you definitely are going to see the outcome go positively for you now this reading i want to focus in love source god let's focus in on um her romantic situation and first we're going to look at the energy that surrounds her next romantic relationship and then we're going to look at another spread that will talk to us about what you can do to help you find that ideal romantic relationship so let's see because you wanted to know would you have that again and um I already see that absolutely you will. It may be some time involved, but what I want to do now is look at an overall card that's going to explain the general feeling of the next romantic relationship for you. So I want to pull just one card for that. And then again, after that, I want to do a spread that is based on your romance for your highest, lightest, and brightest good to help you hear and know what you can do to help bring that energy to you to help guide that beautiful relationship to you that you're wanting and so love source God thank you thank you thank you for providing the clear specific answers for my client for using my voice my mind and my words to channel the information that benefits my client to her highest and lightest and brightest good in regards to her romantic life and I'm so grateful that I can be here to do this for her and her higher self and my higher self and we know that we're all connected to you and so now I'm so grateful that all that energy comes through from you so that I can speak to my client and so first card we're going to do is again what does that next romantic relationship look like? I see that it, you have the nine of wands and so I see that with that you're gonna feel uh, somewhat protective um, you're gonna be very strategic you're going to feel like you need to be on guard at some level in this next relationship and it seems that you've been through some trauma but let's let's look at the spread before I get into that too much but I do want to say first that it seems like you've been through some kind of frustration and trauma in regards to romance and so um, it makes sense then that you would feel a little reserved um, a little protective uh, you are very valuable and so um, let's see what this spread is going to say I want to look first at an evolution spread I'm really loving this spread so I'm gonna do this for you and so it's gonna this first position is gonna show us now we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so now I see right now the first words I wanted to say was new love, so I've got to put that out there. You also are in a period of self-love where you're looking to yourself more um, to keep to yourself but what I'm getting to is right now like the opportunity for love is around you so this card immediately spoke to me in two different ways you know it was about the self-love but it was also about new love opportunities that love is abounding for you there are there is love around you at this time and so understand that regardless of what you've been through you should always be your biggest cheerleader and advocate you should always be your biggest fan and your greatest lover and so 
you've been through enough from external influences and now is the time for you to go easy on yourself whether you're ready for welcoming somebody new into your life or not go easy on yourself give yourself the love that you need and sometimes that love is time to reflect and time to get yourself together but just know that even at this time whether you want to see it whether you want to be a part of it or not the love is around you it is in your vicinity it is available to you and if you've just met someone Maybe even between the time that you ordered this reading and the time you see this reading, I feel like there is a potential there for growth. It's do you want it? Are you ready to embrace it? Or are you at a place in your life where you're like, you know, just not right now. I'm not just yet ready to invest myself in another person yet. I'm still working on myself. I feel like that's there for you. Now... The next card I'm going to lay down is going to talk about in four weeks time and where again we're still talking about your romantic situation and any advice at the same time, advice that can help you to bring in the ideal relationship, what you find to be ideal, what love source God knows is ideal for you. So let's see what card comes out for four weeks time. We have the tower. Interesting because again I got with the tower. The tower is about things falling apart because something new comes in. And so the first thing I got was like that meeting, like you met someone or you, I feel like you met somebody and in four weeks time, you're going to learn more about this person and realize that they have kind of shot down some of your ideas you were holding on to in the sense of the need to be so protective and the need to hold back and maybe it's okay to actually fall a little bit for this person you may be falling in love in four weeks time at the same time in four weeks time i see either way whether or not you choose to pursue this because it is available to you otherwise i wouldn't be speaking on it and it, whether or not you choose to pursue this, in four weeks time, what we're going to be dealing with is, um, I want to call it ego strikes, uh, where understandings of how things need to be, um, you'll have new epiphanies, those things are going to change, the, the understandings of how things work, how things need to be, who and what you are, what you need, what you deserve, all of these different things, there's going to be some sort of new information coming to you that's new understanding new self-awareness new self-appreciation new self-acceptance um new opportunities and new offers that you're attracting that are going to ha cause some of those protective barriers to just kind of crumble and um also i just got strongly that there's um with this card and this is supposed to be a romance relationship but i'm a, a romance situation that i'm talking about here but i'm really strongly getting right now that there's another person in your vicinity and i don't feel like this is a romantic situation i want to say it's a friend or somebody like that you're going to find something out that's going to cause that relationship to actually fall apart Something that they say, said, or have done, or have been aware of, and you will feel like, okay, you know what, I'm done. You're you're done too. You, I'm done with you too. It is how that feeling came in. That that was interesting because that just kind of hit from the side. Um, let's see what influences this. The next card will be the influencing factor in this change and it's the seven of wands it's you staying your ground and having all that you need within yourself to overcome any obstacles or challenges that are presented to stand firmly in your place and to uh anything 
anyone that comes at you with their ideas of what you need to do that are not serving you and keeping you in your highest, lightest, and brightest good, you're going to just be like batting those things away. You're just going to say, yeah, no, that doesn't work for me. I'm not good with that. Um, what, I, what I'm going to do is what I've been doing because what I've been doing is working for me and this is where I am satisfied. This is where I need to be. I don't need to change that. What I need to do is stay here. And so I'm getting to that. Um, you're just going to be very determined. You're going to be persevering. And what it is also is you're getting to a point where things in your life, the way your day-to-day -day activities play out is going to be vastly different, but you're not quite to that point yet. I'm going to go ahead and pull the fourth card. This is the overall outcome that's most likely at this time. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I love it. You have two aces here. You have two aces here. It's a beautiful spread because we have new beginnings and new beginnings. So overall, from even between now and in the future, you're like in this time of new beginnings. You're going into a new, a new thing. And so is it possible that you will fall in love again and have a romantic relationship again? Absolutely it is. And um, if you're meeting somebody new at this, at this time, this, I, I also got, while I was in between these two cards, I got that um, this person that you meet around this time that I'm doing this recording for you may be somebody that tugs on your emotions, but that's going to be proven that that's not stable. You, you're not going to, you're not going to go there. You're going to stand your ground and some other opportunity will come along. There'll be another person and this person will offer the stability. This is a, of the earth. It's not as much, although emotions are still involved because, um, it's a relationship that we're talking about. There's a lot of stability. The way this person's life is set up, they have things in order there. They have things available and they're ready for a stable ongoing thing and so again you will have that opportunity again I feel like you just have opportunities around you it's about you being picky which is great be picky it's about you being self-sufficient you got a nine here and a nine here nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck so you have everything for yourself and you don't need somebody in your life. It would be a beautiful addition to add to all of the beauty that you have in your life to have somebody in it. And so you'll have opportunities. I see at least two opportunities in this little tiny reading right here for you. And so you have opportunities. It's about are you ready to share yourself with someone else? Or are you finding so much gratification and just focusing on you and if you are at the point where you're more focused on yourself that's okay it is perfectly okay because I'll tell you what if you're having doubts about adding another human into your life another person another situation another item or another anything but in this reading we're talking about another person into your life in particular if you have doubts <sighs> Those are yourself speaking to you, so it's good to follow them. Now, it's a little bit different if you're having a queasiness about something that you really feel strongly for, which I feel this is this Ace of Pentacles in the outcome is, is really going to be. I do feel like you have a beautiful relationship that you will feel very ready to move forward with coming in. But um, for you, if you if you feel it and it, it's so strong, it's just a little queasiness because it's different. That's the type of energy you want to push through. And so differentiating between those two energies will be part of it. Which opportunities do you want to take? You have so much available to you. And so thank you so much for having me do your personal reading. I would love to hear back from you. And love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course,